Hey guys, it's Andre, and in this video, we're going to do a very quick tutorial on a new workflow that's been speeding up my design process. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in this little custom GPT I've been building and testing out. And we're going to make three different prompts, and we're going to go ahead and run them, and then use the new workflow that I've been using lately. Okay, so we have our three prompts that we're going to use, so let's go ahead and run them. Okay, so we've got three pretty solid images here, and I would prefer this to be the same where they each have a leaf or neither have a leaf. So we're gonna ask for that, and while that's going on, we're going to take this and we're going to simply right click and copy image. This means we don't even have to download it, and we will go ahead and open up Vectorizer AI and paste it in there. And we could do this with multiple tabs, so I'll go ahead and grab the other one that is already ready, and we will copy that and paste it over here, and we've opened up another Vectorizer AI tab for whenever this one completes. So what I've been doing is I have been taking these and I've been going to this color selection tool. And let's see if I can move my face. Okay, so we have 10 total colors here. And usually what you would do is you would take the design, you would take it into another tool, and then you would remove the background in all kinds of different ways. So what we're doing instead is we are taking the background color, which we asked for in our prompt. The, the prompts were all isolated on a dark gray background, so it's easier for AI to remove it. But it also makes it easier for vector images to have this color be its own set. So we go ahead and we take that dark gray and we punch it out. So you could see that it's not perfect yet, but we can work on that, right? So if we take this, and I think this brown might wanna be over here, and we take this, we can punch that out too by moving it over into the transparent background. We'll leave this over here. So we have the full eyes, and we've got a completed design. We just press the check mark and the background is already removed. So let's go ahead, we could take this and we can copy the image and we'll have it over here and we can work on this image. So what we've got here is every time we select something, you'll, you'll see the selection over here in the image. So what we're doing is we are isolating the background and then we are punching it out and then we're looking for other things that we might need to punch out. And we can go ahead and get rid of all of this brown. And this will look very solid on a dark shirt. In fact, we can test how good it looks on a dark shirt by changing this over to a full black. And there you go. And it's already ready to be put on a black shirt. So we could hit the check mark. We've got this. That's fully ready. And then we grab the next SVG file by clicking download. And then over here, we'll do our last processing. This looks to be the black stroke. This looks to be something that should be a part of the background. So we take this dark gray that we prompted for and we punch it out. And here we have completely ready vector images. And we hit download. We hit download, and then we are done. We have the SVG files. So that's how we get to the SVG files, but we still need to go ahead and take those SVG files and make them into PNGs in the appropriate size for Amazon Merch or whatever platform you're using. Okay, so here we are in Figma, and we can very quickly kind of process these. Figma is a free tool that you could use to do this vector editing stuff. Uh, I use Illustrator most of the time. You could also use Kittle if you are a Kittle subscriber. But for right now, we'll just roll with Figma because it is a free option. So here we are. We've dragged our first vector image in here. We hold Shift. We make it fill the space as best we can. And we center it. And we leave just a little bit of headroom. And that looks pretty good. 
And then we take the orange guy, we put him here, and then we put it this way, and, and then we size it up. We give it a little headroom, and then we center it. Then we do the same thing with the limes, and there we go. So we have all of these with these backgrounds showing right now, but what we could do is we can go ahead and hide the fill on each of these frames. And that also gives us an idea of what it would look like on a dark background. So you could see this orange you glad we met looks very good on a black shirt and that's most of our sales on Amazon anyway. So optimizing for that kind of makes sense. Uh, same thing over here. So all we would do from this point is we would select, you would select frame one either here in the sidebar or you can click it out here in the canvas and you select all of the frames, you go to export. And since we're in the correct aspect ratio, all we do is export the three layers. And then we pull it up, it's been downloaded. And here we are, we've got PNGs in the correct aspect ratios for Merch by Amazon, and we're done. Okay, so that was relatively seamless, right? It's two or three steps. It's fairly simple to do, and it works really well when you're working with vector images. and. Something that's really good about using vector images and using this tool is that by using it and adjusting which colors go where and then punching out the background, you can fully optimize for whatever shirt color you want to design for. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I know that not everybody's working with vector images, so if you don't want to use this and you want to stick to your upscaled raster images and you want to know how you can process out these backgrounds, you could check out this video over here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in that video.